How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. And how's it going guys? Josh Olufemi here live in hot and steamy New York City. It's been crazy, it's been a long trip. It's extremely humid and yet it's been raining every two seconds. We're in the middle of the Brooklyn Bridge and we got caught in the rain. But more importantly, we're gonna be talking about 10 Premiere Pro text tricks you have got to know. Tip number one, make sure that you're actually using the essential graphics panel when you're creating text. To activate the text tool, just click on the T button in the toolbar, then click anywhere in the program window and start typing. You can then tweak the text to your heart's desire within all of the parameters in the essential graphics window. Now, a lot of you guys may be like, I already know that, Josh, but it's possible that you could be only using the effects controls window when you're editing your text. Now, this is a very useful window. It's where you can animate with keyframes. But if you go all the way up to the top to window and make sure that the essential graphics button is checked and then go over to where the essential graphics tab appears, you can see that there's a lot more options that you can use as far as changing the parameters of your text. Trick number two, I'm sure at some point you've used the track mat key tool to create this really cool video within text effect. Well, there's actually an easy way to do it now with, again, the Essential Graphics panel. What you can do is you can click on your text and then you can actually click Add New Layer within the Essential Graphics panel. There's actually a place to actually add media now as a layer. Add whatever media you want within your text. Make sure that your text is before your video and then go down to the bottom and click on Mask with Text. And voila, you have this really cool video within text effect that you can do in two steps basically. Guys, it is starting to rain even crazy right now, but let's move over to trick three where we're gonna talk about how to create motion blur with moving text. All you gotta do is you gotta go over to effects and then put on the transform effect onto your text. After that, you know you're probably gonna keyframe a little bit of motion, whether it be your scale or your position. After that, it's important to change your composition shutter to 360 degrees and then that's how you're gonna get your beautiful motion blur. Guys, we're gonna pause for a short ad. So you're a Premiere Pro video editor, you gotta check out this transition pack that the team has made just for you. These transitions are meant to give your high-paced edits just a tad bit of extra oomph. They are easily tweakable. They play very light in your timeline and they're just a ton of fun to mess around with. These hundred transitions require no installing, no plugins, and work perfectly in the latest edition of Premiere Pro. And check this out, with every purchase, I'll throw in the entire Olufemi Creative Pack absolutely for free. This includes three additional transition packs, the Box Lens Transition Pack, the Camera Snap, effects pack and the identity transitions pack. In addition to that, it also includes three of my light leaks packs. There's the bloom light leaks pack, the light opal light leaks pack, and of course the sea glass light leaks pack. The Olufemi creative pack is valued at over $119 alone and again you get it for free when you purchase the track mat transitions pack today. Every single pack that you're about to download comes with an unlimited license that allows you to use all the transitions and all the effects in as many videos as you want forever. So what are you waiting for? It's time to take a leap, try these out, and tell me what you think. It's time to get back to the video. The next trick, guys, is called a text reveal with mask. This just consists of creating a custom shape, putting it over your text, and then keyframing the shape of the mask so that it reveals your text underneath. This next trick is pretty easy. It's called adding noise to your text. This trick is really cool because it basically prevents your text from looking like it's sitting on top of your footage, but it almost seems like it's baked into your footage. It gives your footage a more like cinematic, natural look. To do that, you're gonna go to effects and then you're gonna simply search for noise, under noise and grain, and you're going to bring it on your text. Then you're going to just up it a ton currently at 80%. Then what I like to do is I usually like to go and play with the opacity. I bring the opacity down just a tad. Just bring it down to 75 and see how that looks. Bring it down even a little bit more. This is especially a cool effect when you're trying to match digitally placed text on top of actual real film footage because what you're doing is you're adding grain back onto the text so that it matches with the grain on the footage. Again, it's matching the fake digital element 
that you're adding on to the real grain that's in the film footage underneath it. Guys, we are here at Madison Square Garden and we're halfway through our list. Did you know that you can auto align text again using the essential graphics window? This is what you gotta do. You gotta just click on edit. Then under the auto and align section, you're gonna see two squares. The one with the vertical line will align your text vertically and the one with the horizontal line will align your text horizontally. Guys, we're gonna keep going. I, it's getting a little bit dark and I think it's gonna rain again. Next trick is actually gonna be called the glitch text animation. This one's very easy to do as well. All right, guys, first things first, you're gonna go into effects and you're gonna start to type out mosaic. You're gonna drag the mosaic effect onto your text. Then you're gonna go into mosaic and you're going to activate keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch. First set of keyframes, you wanna put it at 500, both for horizontal and vertical blocks. Then you're gonna go a little bit forward and then you're gonna make a second set of keyframes, put them both at 10. Then you're gonna create a third set of keyframes. You're gonna put that at 500. One thing I like to do is I like to actually highlight all the keyframes, go to Bezier, just to smooth out the keyframes a little bit. There we go, that's really nice and smooth. Now guys, there isn't a real way to add a gradient to your text in Premiere Pro, but there's a little workaround that you can do. There's a cool effect that you can put on your footage called the ramp effect. Pluck that over from the effects panel, put it on your text, and you can use this effect to create a really cool customizable gradient for your text. Next tip is actually really useful. You can actually add consistency to your edit by saving your text as a motion graphics template. All you gotta do is right click on your text and say save as motion graphics template. Then you go to your central graphics panel, go to browse, then go to my templates, find your template, and you can bring it back on your timeline and then use it again. and just change the text. Guys, we're gonna end this video by talking about yet another way to reveal your text. This time we're gonna add a shine to the text. To do that, we're gonna actually go back to ramp and add that gradient effect that we talked about before. So we're gonna search for ramp and effects, bring ramp, put it on the text, and then we're going to duplicate this text. I'm gonna duplicate the text by holding all down, dragging up. Now I'm gonna click on the top text and I'm gonna actually delete this ramp effect from that top text. And then I'm gonna go and I'm going to go to the, over to the opacity and I'm gonna create a mask on that top text. You can just make it a skinny rectangle. Now you're gonna to go to the beginning and you're gonna click on mask path and you're gonna actually keyframe the mask path. So that it goes over the first text. Now we're gonna add a feather. And there we go. That's pretty cool. All right guys, and that is the end of the video here in beautiful New York. We are literally shooting tutorials on the go. We are a team in multiple locations throughout the world. I'm currently here in New York this week. I'm gonna bring to you a few tutorials kind of covering a few basic and non-basic tricks in Premiere. Hope you guys like them. We're gonna see how this all goes. And the rain has started again. Thanks so much guys. And as always remember to keep it chill.